Another eBay special. Um, this is a mains voltage um, LED lamp with lots and lots of surface mount LEDs and let's crack it open and take a look inside. Okay. Plastic cover. That's nice. Some of them don't have the plastic cover and when you put it into a lamp holder you get a significant electric shock off the solder connections. Thanks China. We love you too. Um, so this has a very simple circuitry. The LEDs are all wired in series, so we've got 60 LEDs, and it basically zigzags up the circuit board, across the circuit board at the top, zigzags back down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and then at some point it goes through these. So all the LEDs are in series. And there's 60 LEDs, roughly 3 volts for a voltage per LED, so about 180 volts total across these LEDs. And that means this, uh, this particular version of the lamp is only suitable for Europe, where we have 230 volts as standard. Um, the power supply is super simple. It uses this capacitor to limit the current, um, and this capacitor here to smooth it, and a little bridge rectifier, a little surface mount bridge rectifier, and very few other resistors. And I have a schematic here, which I doodled earlier for you. So, this capacitor here, this is the mains input, live and neutral. This capacitor here basically limits the current through the circuit by charging and discharging on each half of the main cycle. So, on each half of the sine wave, a controlled portion of electricity gets through. And that gets rectified and charges up this capacitor here, which is across the LEDs and Basically speaking, because the current is limited effectively by the charging discharging of this capacitor, the LED voltage will sit down, it will clamp down across that capacitor. And by adding these two resistors in series, I think they've used two because they're surface mount and they've got a low power rating, um, by using the resistors there, it increases the the voltage across the LED chain a little bit and it will smooth the ripple out just a little bit and provide a smoother, less flickery light. Only other thing worthy of note here is this resistor here, one mega ohm resistor across this capacitor, which um, is to discharge it when the power supply is disconnected. Otherwise, you could get a bit of a shock off these uh, connections if you remove the lamp um, and that capacitor was still charged. Very simple, really not a lot to it, but it's a circuit that's been around a long time. Um, it's how the first LED lamps worked, and it's it's proven. It's, it's simple, it's reliable, and quite hackable as well. Um, it's altogether pretty good. I like it.